Many privacy and security experts are outraged at BlackBerry after it was revealed a few weeks ago that the RCMP used a key to unlock approximately 1 million encrypted pin-to-pin -pin messages sent between personal BlackBerry users since at least 2010. Joining me today to talk more about this is Eric Jacks. Eric is a security expert who has written extensively on security and privacy. So instead of using public key cryptography like a lot of other end-to-end uh, -end encryption products do, BlackBerry chose to protect their pin-to-pin -pin messages using triple DES, and the same key is in every BlackBerry handheld sold. So in effect, every BlackBerry device out there has the ability to decrypt every pin-to-pin -pin message between any other device. Welcome to Whirlwind Radio. I'm your host, Marcelo Sugdeo. Hi, Eric. Thanks for joining us again on Whirlwind Radio. Nice to be here. BlackBerry has been under fire recently for private messages for its phones that were intercepted by the RCMP in an investigation called Project Clemenza. Eric, in your latest column, you took a rather harsh stance against BlackBerry and even went so far to entitle your article, Shame on BlackBerry. Why this stance? There's been a lot of discussion in the media on this topic, and a lot of it seems to focus on the, uh, on the RCMP. Um, what we need to recognize is the RCMP didn't create this problem. BlackBerry did. BlackBerry's pin-to-pin -pin messaging is technically speaking encrypted, but the fact that they've used a shared global key makes their security architecture so weak that, that encryption is, is almost meaningless. So the pin-to-pin -pin messages are encrypted using a shared global key. And why is it a security concern? So instead of using public key cryptography like a lot of other end-to-end uh, -end encryption products do, BlackBerry chose to protect their pin-to-pin -pin messages using triple DES. And the same key is in every BlackBerry handheld sold. So in effect, Every BlackBerry device out there has the ability to decrypt every pin-to-pin -pin message between any other device. So there's, since there's only one key in the entire world, if a law enforcement agency obtains it with a court order, or if someone, law enforcement or otherwise, manages to extract the key from a BlackBerry device, that single key can be used to decrypt any pin-to-pin -pin message. So as I said earlier, Technically speaking, they're correct when they say it's encrypted, but the fact that that same single triple DES key is used worldwide d diminishes the value of that encryption. So this is a, a great concern for consumers. Uh, but what about enterprise customers whose phones are on their BlackBerry enterprise servers? Can their messages be intercepted? So through the BEZ server, BlackBerry gives its enterprise customers the ability to override that global key. So essentially, they can replace that global key with, with their own and have the, their BlackBerry handhelds that are connected to their individual BEZ server use their own key. If they do that, that will secure messages between the organization's own BlackBerries. But as a side effect, it prevents that organization's users from communicating pin-to-pin -pin with anyone outside the organization. And, and as you know, pin-to-pin -pin communication in the BlackBerry um, arena is, is very popular. So while the feature is there, it's so limiting that, uh, to my knowledge, corporations simply aren't using it. Perhaps a couple of government organizations are, but, but again, it has such a significant impact that if people turn it on, the users are not at all going to be happy. So in that case, it really doesn't make a difference, consumer, business. The vast majority of pin-to-pin -pin messages worldwide are using the same key and can be intercepted, whether or not it's a business or a, uh, or a consumer customer. Protecting customers' privacy is core to BlackBerry, according to John Chen. With this latest news, we see that this is not so. In your opinion, what can BlackBerry do to protect its customers' privacy? Well, I think BlackBerry needs to really step back and, and modernize their security architecture. They've got a lot of good things going with, with the way they're using the BEZ server and, and allowing organizations to control some things, uh, for, example, uh, for example, email. Um, 
but they need to implement meaningful encryption in pin-to-pin -pin messages or alternatively uh, simply tell people look that that method is is not encrypted or is not is not secure um, you know there are a number of ways they could modernize it and if you look around the globe all sorts of um, instant messaging applications even free ones are now using strong end-to-end -end encryption. I won't name any of them, but we've all seen the announcements. Um, some of these are large, large global players. Some of them are even open source, so code is available. So I think this this concept of a single global key from a security and privacy perspective is totally unacceptable. Um, it needs to go, and BlackBerry really needs to revisit their uh, their security architecture. All right. Well, thank you so much, Eric, for joining us here today. We truly appreciate you coming on the show. My pleasure. Have a great day. Over the years, BlackBerry has been seen as the epitome of security, and especially so since the rapid decline in sales of BlackBerry devices a few years ago. Security has been the main selling feature for BlackBerry and has been using this to remain in a very competitive smartphone market. But with this news now surfacing, can John Chen calm the storm and continue to push on forward to make BlackBerry profitable again? I will leave you with a quote from John Chen. He said, When it comes to doing the right thing in difficult situations, BlackBerry's guiding principle has been to do what is right for the citizenry within legal and ethical boundaries. The question is, in today's society, by doing the right thing, would that generate more business for BlackBerry? Or would it push BlackBerry down further? Once again, thanks to Eric Jacks for joining us here today. We hope you enjoy this show. And if you do enjoy our podcast, please head on over to iTunes and give us a review. From all of us here at Worldwind Radio, this is Marcelo Sugdeo saying, stay safe in the technology whirlwind.